Hey guys, today I want to talk about diet culture. I, like I've said before in past videos, growing up in the late 90s to early 2000s, a lot of us that are in our 30s now went through a lot of the magazines, you know, picking celebrities apart. You had the magazines that are still around today that tell you, you know, what exercises to do and what to eat to lose weight. There are so many different, you know, trending diet diets going around, you know, keto, and then you have, you know, the flat tummy teas, you have Weight Watchers, Noom. I was also, you know, one of the people that did Beach Body. And, you know, there's just so much going around that is promoting like losing weight and looking a certain way and to begin with you know if you are not sure exactly what diet culture is you know diet culture is sets of myths and expectations around food and weight which typically equate to thinness um to health and categorizing foods into good or bad types you know this creates morals of body shapes and sizes which typically idolize thinness and create fear and negativity about fat so you have the social media platforms you know promoting these trends and these are usually where you see all of these different things if you want to lose weight try this if you want to go on a certain diet you should try this one because this one works for me you know there's the consumer products and the health fads that may contribute to the diet culture and i think the problem with all these different trends is these are not normal you know diets you should put your body through and when you start doing that your body can get confused because that's not what you should be doing. Now, I think that there is a healthier way to start eating different foods and start seeing what works for you, but it's when people decide they're going all in on like say vegan diets or intermittent fasting or plant-based or dairy free that now you're putting your body through like an intense change that normally you wouldn't put your body through and I think a lot of the times we get disappointed because these things don't work for us because that's just not how our body functions or what our body needs I think that if you decide to go on a diet and you decide to start working out you have to find what works for you and what works for your body before putting your body through the ringer and being upset when something doesn't work because how diet culture can affect people is negative body issues eating disorder and also mental health difficulties like depression and low self-esteem anxiety obsessive or incessive thoughts and emotional deregulation you know these I think over time has caused people to yes have negative body issues I again have talked about how I tried so many different workout things and diet teas and eating things I even thought it was funny because I even have books that I bought I bought the, the bikini body 28 days healthy eating and lifestyle guide I think I've looked at this a couple times and then kind of threw it to the side when it didn't work for me the also the thing about these type of things is that you have to buy the foods that it says to eat and I don't know about you but these foods were expensive like how much money am I gonna have to spend to get to look like this girl or anybody else who does these diet trends you know at five below you know i bought you know flatbreads wraps and more recipes for appetizers pizzas and snacks because i'm like oh i can try these again to lose weight or when i was doing beach body i got fixate i bought the first one and the second one for recipes to try to help me lose weight while i was doing beach body now the thing that people might be asking too is well can you know diet culture be positive and I think there's elements of diet culture that may aim to motivate 
healthy lifestyle choices for people, kind of like when I did Beachbody. Now, when I followed workout programs, and yes, when I was eating right, I was losing weight and I was feeling great about myself. But I think the downside of all these trends and diet culture things is that sometimes we take it a step too far. Kind of like I said, I, before finding Beachbody, I think I bought like three or four different types of, you know, eating plans and exercise plans and diet teas. And when I was taking them and eating a certain way, like for one, the diet teas did not work for me. They upset my stomach. They made me feel sick. So I completely stopped doing that. That's like doing detoxes too. Like I tried a detox um, one time and that was just not for me and my body did not function well. I tried, you know, workout plans that had meal plans that tasted, the food tasted horrible. And I'm like, I am not eating this. I think that Beachbody was the first thing I tried that the food was delicious. But then I was also doing the Shakeology drinks that had a lot of calories in it. Then I was doing the uh, Energizer stuff that just made me feel really jittery and everything in my body. And I think that for so long, I just was putting myself physically and emotionally and mentally you know in a rough place because i kept telling myself if this works for everybody else this will work for me and i think that's the biggest thing with you know influencers will influence you to buy the things that work for them that that aren't necessarily going to work for you and i think that's where we try to get it in our heads that if it works for other people, it works for us. And that's not necessarily true. You need to find what foods work for your body, what foods don't work for your body, what workouts work for your body. Because doing cardio might not work for you. Doing HIIT workouts might not for you. Strength training might not work for you. You have to find the thing that feels good for your body but then also gets you to the goal that you want to go and you want to get to just like with food you know quitting dairy might work for you but not work for someone else plant-based might work for someone else but not work for you you know fasting might work for you but not somebody else and I think really it's also these celebrities that are promoting these things that I don't necessarily think they're taking I think Kylie Jenner was one of the people that were promoting the flat tummy tea. Now, personally, I do not think she is using that because for one, she's a celebrity. So she has trainers and coaches and dietary people and cooks that cook all her meals and, um, you know, a workout coach that helps her work out. And one of the things that I also like wanted to talk about because of kind of what influences people people is you know people looking at again the kardashians and saying you know i want to look like them and really in reality that's not going to happen again i talk about you know us being influenced by other people to look like them in i think it was my last video that no matter what if you eat like them or if you you know exercise like them that's just not going to work and that's not how our body is made. So I think with diet culture, again, there are just so many things and so many options out there for you to try. And of course, I think, you know, there is a trial and error kind of like, again, for me, I tried, you know, the first thing it didn't work. I didn't do it anymore. I tried the next thing, didn't work. And then I found Beachbody. And again, for me, Beachbody did work. The exercises were great. I felt, you know, great doing them. I needed something as a routine to keep me and a schedule to keep me going. I am not the type of person who can just like work out with some type of structure. Some people can do that. That's absolutely great for them. But for me, I just had to find the one thing that worked. And again, the foods that I was eating was good, but I think that, again, with a lot of these diet culture fabs, you're spending a lot of money on products and food to try to keep up with that. So I think if you are really wanting to lose weight or get in shape, 
and eat healthier i think you can also do that on a lower budget you just have to figure out you know what foods you'd like to eat and how to make them i think you know go, buy chicken and fish and go on google or pinterest and find recipes that are not on the higher budget side of things there's a way to be eating healthy and there's a way to you know work out or have workout programs that won't you know significantly drain your bank account and i think that's what it is just with all of these different fabs is that now you're spending all this money to get this food or get these products that these people are promoting to help you lose weight and you know at the end of the day you're broke and for a lot of people these things are not working so you're like what what am i doing and then again it can just affect you mentally because you're like why is it working for other people and it's not working for me or what other trend can i try and you're going from diet to diet to diet to diet to trend to trend to trend following all these different things and again you're just putting your body through a lot that you normally wouldn't put your body through so today i'm going to share you know before i leave you some some things you can do to overcome that diet culture so you can do radical self-care you know practice self-care by putting yourself first listening to yourself rather than idolizing and um being fueled by the behaviors by consumers so do what works for you you know check in with yourself what foods make you feel good what you know exercise make your full body good do what works for you and stop trying to do what other people are saying are going to work for you or what they're saying should work for you you know self-acceptance learn to accept your body regardless of the shape size or weight again that's why i'm on this journey and why i've stepped away from any diets or workout trends is because i really just want to love myself where i am right now and then gradually work on eating healthier foods or doing the workouts that are going to work for me because you first have to love yourself at the size and shape and weight that you are before i feel like you can you know kind of step towards that dramatic change now there are a lot of people that are motivated to lose weight because they don't like the way they look but i also think that if something doesn't work for you or you're not losing the weight that you feel like you should be losing on the amount of time you set for yourself then you're setting yourself up for failure you're being upset you're gonna get depressed you're gonna have low self-esteem and it's just not gonna work so i think first begin loving yourself where you are and meet yourself where you are and then take the steps you need to take to get you to where you want to go you know focus on nurturing the body switch the focus from losing weight and switch it to nourishing and looking after the body you know maybe more positive perspective so instead of focusing so much on losing weight focus on again nourishing and putting things in your body that are good that are again still going to help you get to where you want to go but you're not going so hardcore that you're like if i don't lose this amount of weight by this amount of time then i'm a failure gradually give yourself small goals and then keep going you can find like-minded connections you know look for like-minded communities who reject diet culture and avoid following media that makes people feel negative about their bodies if you're somebody who's trying to get away from the fabs who's trying to get away from that negative diet culture find people and communities that are just like you who are trying to maybe lose weight in a healthier way have budget-friendly meals who are you know promoting these workouts that feel good for your body than putting your body through hardcore workouts that don't end up really getting you the results that you're thinking you should have because that's not really what you should be doing for your body you know seek out positive empowering messages read books articles blogs that promote positive messages about body acceptance i think that in the future i'll also talk about body acceptance acceptance because i think there are some people 
who are accepting their bodies and they necessarily aren't in the healthiest body and I think there is a line where there are people you know putting out messages about being fat and being heavy that is good versus you know taking care of your body and doing what's right for yourself I think that's a whole different vlog we're not even going there because that is just something else but lastly try to resist diet culture call out or challenge ideas of diet culture and everyday life such as conversations focused on diet and begin an alternative conversation that feels more positive if feel if talking about losing weight if talking about healthy foods if you know talking about working out is something that just triggers you and puts you in a bad mindset just don't do it do what works for you and then continuously do what works for you i think that diet culture is not going away promoting thinness is not going away and i think that's why there are a lot of people who again are promoting being fat or body acceptance at larger sizes because they're just tired of society always telling them that you can't have thick thighs, you can't have big arms, you can't have cellulite, you can't have stretch marks. And to be in a healthy body, you have to be thin. But I also think you can be in a healthy body and still be on the bigger size. I just think that for so long we've been obsessed with thinness and weight loss and working out that it has overtaken the world and I think that it is good that there are people out there that are promoting you know accepting yourself where you're at kind of like I am before you know focusing on losing weight I think that there is just a healthier side to losing weight and eating healthy and all of these trends that are going around that people are trying you know just probably aren't good for your body and yes a lot of these might work for other people or might work for you and that's amazing but I think that a lot of the time it's going to continue to promote this thinness or this you know topics of good food and bad foods and I think even to, for me I get emails from like this fit, fitness thing I signed up for that, you know, every week is saying one week coffee's good for you, the next week it's not good for you, running's good for your joints, next time it's not good for your joints. And I think there's just so much that is being thrown at you that sometimes it can just feel very overwhelming. So if you've struggled with diet culture or you've struggled with eating healthy, you've struggled with your weight, I think the best thing you can do is focus on your body focus on the foods that make you feel good the exercises that make you feel good and then continuously do that and again I think over time I will slowly start you know trying to go on the journey of losing weight just to feel like better in my own body and to be able to, you know, again, one day have kids and run around with them and not be totally exhausted or, you know, just being able to play with them, getting on the floor, getting off the floor. I think there are just a lot of things that are beneficial for being in a healthier body. But I also think, you know, it's a good thing just to accept your body where it is today and then go on that journey but don't let losing weight or these trends consume your life do what works for you and figure it out and then continuously do that for the rest of your life and like i said i think there's going to be another you know time to do another video about these people who are in bigger bodies who i think are promoting fatness as like this is the best thing for you and necessarily I don't think being super overweight is the best thing for you and I think that with a lot of these influencers that are putting you know um, bigger body 
acceptance out there i think that can be you know a bad messaging too is that not necessarily should you just give up and eat what you want and gain a bunch of weight and just be happy in your body like that's still putting your body through a lot of you know unhealthy eating and junk food and all that as well and again i'm not trying to get too deep into that today i if you're interested and i'll definitely do a video on it that i've definitely seen a lot of vloggers or influencers that are promoting this and i'm not promoting you know gaining weight i'm not promoting you know being overweight again i've talked about being overweight and how i feel about that what i think you know coming from my channels i'm promoting just being happy in your own skin at the body size that you're at and i don't discourage people from losing weight or working out like i you know work out i try to eat healthy as much as i can am i perfect all the time no but you know i'm choosing to just be happy with my life and to be happy with my body and eventually yes i want to lose weight and yes i want to be you know I think just healthier overall, but I think there's a better way to do that and there's a better way to talk about it than, you know, just all of this stuff out there that can make you just feel bad about yourself and question your size and your weight because I think there are also a lot of people who you could talk to that are very fit or very thin that are not happy with their bodies or the, with the way they look. They wish they had more muscle or more definition. And I think that's the side of it that I think we probably need to see more is these people telling you, you know, how they feel about themselves and how they feel about their bodies, even if they're at their thinnest or even if they're at their fittest because sometimes when your whole goal in life is to be a certain size and you finally get to that certain size, a lot of times you're still not happy and I think that's a big thing to look at you know with all this diet culture and all these trends is you know figuring out what makes you feel good figure out what makes you happy and then continuously do that every single day for the rest of your life no matter what other people are doing no matter how other people are eating no matter what kind of workouts people are doing figure out what works for you and then continuously do that to feel good about yourself and your body and what your body needs because you know at the end of the day that's all that matters you need to figure out what works for you and what makes you happy and then you need to figure out how to do that for the rest of your life so you're not maybe triggered by all of these different things that are going on because again the more you know years that come and every single year there's going to be a different trend, a different diet, a different workout method that there are going to be for people to try. And, you know, that's just the way the world is. But we need to figure out what's going to work for us and how we need to support our body before we can, you know, put ourselves through all of these, you know, diet culture trends that could be having a very negative effect on your body and your mental health and make you feel, you know, crappy about yourself. You know, work, find what works for you again and continuously do that. So thanks for letting me chat with you today about uh, diet culture and I will talk to you guys again real soon in the next vlog. Bye guys.